Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Good morning, everyone. My phone's not working. It died. Just as I was about to go on YouTube to see if you guys can hear me, it died. Oh well. This tastes good. How's everyone doing today? I am a little sluggish today. But it's okay. I will survive. Magical Mermaid, I really love my Minnie Mouse watch. I really want to thank you for my Minnie Mouse watch. It brings me hope and joy. Even though Disney does suck. But it still brings me hope and joy. I need for my phone to come on. How's everyone doing today? We are going to talk about everything, if we can, try to get everything in. Does anybody else hate wearing glasses? I don't get the concept of glasses. Okay. All righty now. Phone's coming on yet. Why? Why, God? Why? All right, let me say hello to everyone because the phone's not reacting. Oh my God, I'm so tired. Oh. Good morning, Volvo. Good morning, Cookie. How are you? Mother of Bratz, good morning and good health. Good morning, Mother of Bratz. 504 Tata, good morning. Many moons, many moons. That is so cute. Good morning, good morning. Kenneth, good morning. Miss Tracy in the chat, I am tired this morning. Thank you. Thank you. You and I are on the same page. Thank you. I am tired. Many moons, many moods. She says, I am well. How are you all doing today? Why is my phone not charging? I hope you guys can hear me. Oh my God, this coffee is so good.
How are you all doing today? Ah, here we go. Let me get over to YouTube. Make sure you guys can hear me. Hold that. Here. Thank you. I think you guys can hear me. Nope. Nope, they can't. You guys can't hear me. I gotta edit this. It just, the volume just came up. Okay, we're fine. How is everyone doing today? We are going to talk about friends again. We talked about friends last night. We talked about friends yesterday. And we did a reading on Matthew Perry. We talked about friends last night on L Live with Lamar and Tracy. I forgot my name. Um, we're going to do it again. Because it is a part of Hot Topics. So I'm going to read an article. Oh, hi, Dion. Good health. Good health, everyone. I'm going to read an article as to the reason that they had a delayed response. And this is from Marker, Marker.com. Because, um, oh, by the way, Lamar predicted that they would have a, a group response, which I find that weird. The sudden death of beloved actor Matthew Perry, known for his role as Chandler in the iconic TV series Friends, has sparked an outpouring of grief and tribute. However, notably absent from public statements are his friends, co-stars, Jennifer Aniston, who played Rachel, Courtney Cox, who played Monica, David Schumer, who played Ross, Matt LeBlanc, who played Joey, and Lisa Kudrow, who played Phoebe. The co-stars co have maintained silence on social media and with other media outlets. The silence from the main French cast is explained by a page six source close to the actors. And it says, they are reportedly still grappling with the shock of Perry's untimely death at the age of 54, who tragically drowned in a hot tub. The cast is reeling from the loss of their brother because that's what Maddie was, their brother. It's just devastating, the insider noted. The source also revealed that the cast is preparing a joint statement to express emotions during this time. So this was before the joint statement, because they did issue a joint statement that I thought 
know. I didn't, I didn't, I, uh, the joint statement fell flat to me. I don't know. I didn't, like, oh, I didn't get, oh, oh my goodness. I didn't get that feeling. I don't know if I believe this ought to go. Let me see if I can get a joint statement. I mean, I just don't think it's a good look. Let's take a look at it again. I just don't think it was a good look, guys. I mean, your immediate response is, let's put through a joint statement. Okay. I mean, everybody grieves differently, right? In a joint statement, they are utterly devastated by the loss of Matthew. We were more than just castmates. We are a family. We are... A family. There's so much to say, but right now we're going to take a moment to grieve and process this unfathomable loss. In time, we will say more when we are able. For now, our thoughts and our love are with Maddie's family, his friends, and everyone who loved him around the world. Okay. That was... Hi, Magical Mermaid. That was what we could do. That's... that's that's as cold as we get. As nice as we get. I don't know. Am I being cruel? Do, do you think I'm cruel? I don't know. I mean, a simple post. I mean, I know we're in a new age, but a simple post. Oh, my God. Matt, don't leave us. Like something. Even if you have to lie. I think the collective quietness was weird. Like, you all would have had to call each other. Matt died. Matt died? Oh, my God. Let me call Schumann. Matt died. What do you mean, Matt died? Like, they would have had a collective conversation. A domino of conversations. No one? No one? Not one? Like, who was the leader in this that was like, nobody post anything. We've got to process. and We've got to grieve. Not a good look. Maybe a little cold-hearted. Maybe revealing, like, who they are. Right? The love that we have for them. Funny Lisa. <laughs> Beautiful Rachel. I mean, I've seen her in the morning show. David Schumer. Matt LeBlanc, the funny guy. Maybe. None of them are who we thought they were. Maybe they're all like Matt. possible. The very thing that you have disdain for is the very thing that you fear.
that is you. When church people hate strippers, they're just upset that they can't shake their ass. You know, you know, you know. Hi, Sanji. Magical Mermaid says, I know Matt LeBlanc was a bit of a rebel for being the only one to go for a spinoff that failed. Ooh. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Has he ever really done anything since? Friends? Him, Schumer, Lisa Kudrow. I know Lisa Kudrow has been on a comedy circuit, but I'm just saying, have they ever? I mean, these kids were very smart. They knew they had a hit show. They banded together. They made them pay them a million dollars for the show. I believe it was a million dollars. I don't know if it was a million dollars per episode, but definitely for right now until I get clarity. A million dollars for the season. And that was early in their career and they were there for 10 years. And then I'm pretty sure that they got together for financial advice. So I'm pretty confident that they were really smart in what they did with their money. I don't know if Matt was. Wait, what's his name? Matt Matt. Oh, Matthew Perry. I don't know if Matthew Perry was. Um, which is why I think a lot of this silence was critical because I really feel like he couldn't hold on to money the way the others could. Just, just my thought. I don't know. Yeah, Jennifer was really the breakout of that show. Really. Every movie. I think I've seen every movie Jennifer has been in. I like her comedy. And the morning show on Apple, that's really good. Um, I mean, I'm looking at some things here, you know, Matthew, Matthew Perry would take 55 Vicodins and a quart of vodka. He put that in his memoir. He could look at episodes and tell which drug he was on at the time. He dated Julia Roberts through fax. And then when they finally met up, it was fast and over. Matthew Perry claims Cameron Diaz once punched him in the face on a secret date. Cameron Diaz is such a sweetheart, too, so she punched him. He did something wrong. Matthew Perry, Valerie Bertinelli made out while Eddie Van Halen was passed out. He put that in a book?
And did you guys see the reunion? The reunion was awkward. Did anybody see that? How awkward the reunion was? Like, I want to watch it again just to watch how awkward everybody was. In hindsight, it seemed very awkward. Oh, Courtney did, did uh, scream. Okay, all right. All right, no, no, scream is good. Mm -mm. Um, rest in peace, Matthew. Yes, he's going to need to rest in peace because that book, he's going to need it. He's going to need your prayers to rest in peace because that book, Ooh. You know, sometimes I wonder, do people know that they're going to die? Jennifer Aniston movies. We're at the Millers. Just go with it. The switch. I don't think I've ever saw that. The breakup. Management. You can also tell her by her haircuts. Rumor has it. We're the wait, we're the Millers. Extended cut. I'm going to watch that one again. A Wife's Nightmare. She's the one. Love Happens. She also played some really good serious ones. There was one where she was like um, a store clerk. And it was so weird and so uncomfortable, but it was so good. All right, that's just a few. You know, I think I'm going to go on a Jennifer Aniston binge watch tonight. She's the one with Cameron Diaz. I love, I love Cameron Diaz. I'm going to go on a Jennifer Aniston binge watch. All right. She's my favorite. I think she's my favorite because of what happened to her early on with What's-His-Face. I forget his name. I don't like him. Mm. Derailed was good. Let's see. Yes, people know when they're going to pass. Right, Sheena? Right. People do know when they're going to pass. Hmm. Jarrell came out the same year as her breakup from Brad. Ooh. Oh, thank you, Rosie Cheats. Brad Pitt. It's okay. It's okay to forget his name. Hi, Jenny G. It's okay. So I wanted to show you guys something. Rest in peace, Matthew. I I think I'm a little disappointed. I think that's what I want to say. 
I'm just going to say it. I'm a little disappointed. I'm disappointed in you and how much drugs overtook you. But I also can't blame you because I understand that drugs is a monster. I understand that completely. Alcohol is a monster. I pray that in your afterlife, you can still be helpful. That's what I pray. There's a way to be helpful in your afterlife. And I pray that maybe that's a whole thing. I also pray that if the right stories aren't told and you all just brush this under the rug, and just do what the public wants you to do, friends, which is placate his death. I think you're doing a disservice to all the people that wanted to love you, right? I think it's okay to start telling the truth. I think it's okay to start letting us know how much you were hurt by Matt. Like, make it make sense for us. I think in the end, Matthew wanted to help people who were addicted to drugs somehow. And I don't know if there's a success story out there. So maybe the success story can continue if you guys just talk the truth on how ugly it can be when someone has a drug issue. Maybe one of you, a couple of you can just be honest with us. And not in a Matthew Perry kind of way, because I think his book was way harsh. It was, to me, it was violently honest. And I really feel like he wrote the book to catch revenge on a lot of people. So I think right up until the end, his spirit was not okay. Right up until the end. I feel like he was angry at everybody. I don't know. And did anybody else get the pickleball reference? Is it just me or did you find pickleball kind of weird? Anybody? Anybody? I was like, pickleball. Pickleball comes up again. Yep, especially these days with fentanyl. In, in AA, they say, wait till you hear the pop when your head is out of your ass. Addicts are not nice. Um, you didn't hear the pickleball reference, Mother of Brats? It's the first thing they said. He came back from playing pickleball.
Good morning, Colton. How are you? So, I don't know. I don't know. I think in a few months, I'll, I'll channel him and I'll see where he's at with everything. <sighs> yeah, but also millions of people watch them have a delayed response. So it's all very weird to me. Oh, by the way, I think I lost my breasts again. They're gone. I had to... Um, Take the water out. Ooh, child, I was worried. And then breasts were ballooning again. When my breasts balloon, I'm toxic. You know that I'm toxic. Da -da 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 -da. You know that I'm toxic. Okay. So, I got this. The picture is misleading. Because this thing is fucking <laughs> massive. I got it from Home Depot on sale. And the one herb I love more than anything in my entire life, I love lavender. So I saw this and I thought, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. It's a little black girl on the picture. How cool. I don't know if this is a black company, but I couldn't look out more. We'd love to hear from you. Okay. Oakland, California, they're probably black. All right, so they love to hear from me. I don't know how to do this. Lavender seeds, fertilizer spikes, mason jar planter, potting mix, organic seeds, organic fertilizer, tap water, sunny window, or grow light. Remove lid, add one cup of water to the soil, sprinkle six to eight seeds, and push each one quarter into soil. Place planter in sunny window. How many seeds are there? Do I cover it though? Seeds will germinate two to four weeks. To ensure germination, the top second of the soil must be constantly moist during this period. Add water each time the soil begins to dry. Okay. Tip. Place the lid on top of your planter to increase humidity and aid in germination. Okay. Lavender is a drought-resistant plant. I did not know that. And prefers drier soil after germination. The outgrowth allows soil to dry out before each new watering. Okay. Peer through the mason jar to make sure the soil is dry before watering again. When seedlings reach three inches tall, Use your thumb and forefinger to remove all but the strongest ceilings.
Six to eight seeds. So many seeds are in here. You know that I'm toxic. Oh, I saw a good movie yesterday. Oh, 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 oh. They are tiny. Oh, let me put this back because I can't tell between soil and seeds. So, let me just put this back. Damn it. Get in there. You know that I'm toxic. They're very tiny, so let me put this here, upright. Ugh. Okay, so, let's leave this here for now. Ugh. So, oh, this feels heavy, but it's not. Mm. people have a video of this kind of stuff. All right, so let's let's see the five things we need to talk about today and hopefully Netanyahu is on the list of the five things we need to talk about because he refuses to have a ceasefire. Yeah, the guy that says, oh, poor Israel, poor me, refuses to have a ceasefire. By the way, I was talking to a client the other day, and I prayed with her, right? And I'm curious about something, and maybe you all can help me. One of the prayers we says has the name Israel in it. But the Bible goes back 20,000 years or centuries or whatever. How's the name Israel in one of our prayers? When Israel wasn't established until 1948. What? Um... Oh, by the way, happy Halloween. Let me see something. Because uh, maybe I'm the crazy one. I thought Israel was established in 1948. I think it's the 121st Psalm. I mean, as I was praying with her, then the Israel came up, and I was like, how? Like, I literally had to stop praying. I was like, how? So this is it. It's the Psalm 121. And it's, it goes as follows. I lift up my eyes to the hills and cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not suffer that foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. He that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun will not smit thee by day, nor will the moon by night. 
The Lord shall preserve thee. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forward and even forevermore. I think this is a secret prayer to Israel. But Israel wasn't established until 1948. So did we change the words to suit the narrative? And is this a secret prayer to Israel? Does anybody understand what I'm trying to say? Like, guys, we talk about magic all the time and how you all fear magic right? There's a whole psalm dedicated to Israel, but made to look like it's for you. He to keep it Israel, so neither slumber nor sleep. Was that psalm indoctrinated against the Palestinians? When the Palestinian says, you have no place to go, come share the land with, with us. And we're all saying a prayer, Psalm 121, that we think is for us, but they sneak in. He did keep it Israel, so neither slumber nor sleep. Like, I need a private conversation with God, but I don't want to die, God. I, need, I want to talk to you, but don't kill me so I can get the answer. Um, I feel manipulated. I feel manipulated. God, Jesus has been returning. Mm-mm. No. We don't pray until God returns, until Jesus returns. I apologize. Jesus has been returning. He comes as Buddha. He comes as Nelson Mandela. He comes as Mother Teresa. Jesus always comes back. Again, recognize who Jesus is based upon the words that are coming out of their mouth. Jesus keeps returning. Y'all just think Jesus is going to return as a white man. That's your problem. Jesus has been coming back. Whose birthday is it? Saint W, is it your birthday? Oh, happy birthday. You know what I mean? I mean, have you ever thought that Jesus has been returning? The trickery of it all? You think God is going to let Jesus come down to one part of the earth? Think about it. That's not God. Jesus died and was like, all right, God, where else do you want to send me? Because whew, the Romans were rough. The Jews didn't even believe in me. Whew, I had a time down there. Send me someplace more subdued, Buddha. Send me down as a woman, Princess Diana. <laughs> I believe that. <clears throat> I'm not kidding. I honestly believe that. Change the whole outlook on uh, AIDS. Mm. Who else can walk on land where bombs were planted? Y'all want to talk about what's happening right now? Who else can walk on land where bombs were planted and not a leg blows up on this woman? Not one leg.
Jesus. <laughs> Why am I in IG? <laughs> we gotta talk about this i don't know if i have a so candy burris are we done talking about jesus and why israel um is in my psalm magic guys you gotta recognize magic for what it is i'm gonna get up there and i'm gonna be pissed but I'm trying to enlighten you guys today. Everybody plays magic on us. Everyone. All right. Hold on a second. Let me share this to myself so I can find it later. We could talk about it. Where's the black version? I always have the trouble finding the black version. I mean, it's nobody's fault. I should have just kept it somewhere because black version, happy birthday. I want to say happy birthday to you. All right. I just found it the other day. I know I didn't keep it. Happy birthday to you. Oh, come on. Happy birthday song. Oh, that's it. I want to say happy birthday. Oh, how hard is this? Thank you. <laughs> Bluetooth mode. That's not it. No, the one that goes, I want to say happy birthday to you. Let me see. I want to, I want to say happy birthday to you. Song. Video.
TikTok. So big here. I want to say happy Say happy birthday to you. Now close your eyes and make a wish. Y'all better learn to enjoy your birthdays, child, because you got one shot and you deserve the one shot. And one shot is once a year. And then enjoy every day as if it's your birthday. That would be my motto. Oh, I hope this post. Close your eyes and make a wish. One of my group mates, brother, is uh, birthdays today. Like, I'm really like teary eye. I love birthdays. Okay. Who is this beauty? Lashonda. Who are you? All right, Ugh. I get so emotional and then I get all hot and bothered. Woo. Happy birthday, Sin W. I want to say happy birthday. Oh, yes, it's the day you went through the portal. <laughs> Are you teary-eyed too? Oh my God, I just, I love birthdays. I really do. Whew. Which is why I'm so insistent upon celebrating when somebody says it's my birthday. Well now I got a good version of the song, long. So now I'm just gonna save this somewhere. Oh, save video, it worked. Happy birthday. All right, so let's go back to CNN. I'm really, I'm serious. I'm so teary-eyed right now. And so everyone is saying hugs, happy birthday. It's the day you went through the portal. Amen. I love to celebrate my B-Day big on the actual day, but every day I open my eyes and take a breath and thank God for another day. Yeah.
Aw, we needed your birthday today. We sure did. Happy birthday, Sin W. Thank you, Tracy. You're welcome. You're welcome. It's from my heart. I hope you guys recognize, like, how much I care. It's so from my heart. Um, mother of brats, happy birthday. They're, like, dancing and clapping hands, right? I know what you guys are doing. I, I, I know. You know. You know I know. Happy birthday, Tracy. This is my other account. You know me as Callie Subs. Oh, hi, Callie Subs, girl. Hi. Thank you, Kiona. This is a holy... What the hell? Greetings, guys. Happy birthday, Sin W. Oh, I didn't even see you all saying something. Enjoy your birthday, Sin W. Aw, mother of psychics. Aw, oh, hell now. Aw, oh, hell now. Well, I'm going to have to claim that title. Mother of psychics. If I can just remember how old I am. I act so immature. I like that. I like mother of psychics. But that's, I'm a mother and I'm a psychic. And you put the two together, and yeah, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm a mother of psychics. All I heard was, you all problem is, you all think Jesus is going to come back as a white man. <laughs> Jesus then came back Chinese, Indian, black. You know, came back as Martin Luther King job. coming back. Can't find no good in the world. I'm like, okay, L let me try as a woman now, because the men are screwed up. And he had a good life as Mother Teresa, though. I swear, he had a great life as Mother Teresa. Yes, he did. Happy birthday, Sin W. Aww. Hey, birds. Jesus is a solar story. I love that. Because the sun, Jesus, it's a long story. I don't even get into the whole sun in the sky and Jesus, but Magic Mermaid knows something. It's a long story. I'm not even going there. It's enough that I have to tell y'all that Psalm 21 is a magical spell for Israel. It's enough. It's enough to teach you guys. Oh, the goats of psychic. Thank you. You're the Madrina. I'm the Madrina. Damn right I'm a Madrina. Damn right. I'll tell you what I am. I'm a Madrina. <laughs> then Madrina to be like, what'd she say? What'd she, what'd she say? Who, Madrina? Let me do some magic on this woman. I'm a Madrina. Relax. Relax, Madrinas and Madrinos. Relax. We can share space. I don't mind being a godmother either. Do as I say. Do as I say. I'd be the godmother. <laughs> Yo.
y'all don't want me to be your godmother. I'd be tough on you. I really would. Y'all better talk to my son. Tough. Mm -hmm. I demand respect. Demand it. <laughs> Send W. They want to know if you have a cash app. Martina is godmother. Martina is godmother in Spanish? Really? Oh, Madrina. Oh, Madrina is godmother in Spanish. Oh, I thought, oh, I didn't know that. I thought Madrina was high priest of spiritual stuff. Is that the same thing? Because sometimes I tell my Spanish people, you got to go to a Madrina child because this is, this is big. you guys something my skin is so dry I've got to find a way to cream my back I'm not creaming my back I think I can feel the dryness I gotta find a way to cream my back see that's the disadvantage of not having a man around like it's a little thing thank you you miss that? You single lady? Single lady. Single lady. Put your hands up. <laughs> All of the single ladies. All of the single ladies. Don't you miss that? Don't you miss having somebody? Not even rub my shoulders. I don't need my shoulders rub. I'll pay for that. And so he will pay for it for me. Right? If my man cannot give me a shoulder rub, because for some reason they like it pre-sex, but they don't like it otherwise, and I just need it. So if he can't do it, except for pre-sex, I, I don't need it. I'll have him pay for somebody to give me a massage. So you decide how that's going to go. You decide. How are we doing this? I have a light blue. That's the right cash app. All right. Where's the cash app, sweetie? Listen to me. Where's the cash app? Listen to me. I've decided to tell my landlord I broke his door. I've decided that. I'm so stressed over telling him I broke his door. Like, I almost can't breathe because I broke his door. Like, I'm mortified that I could damage somebody's property so bad. I just ask for Jesus to help me use the right words to lie to him. Just help me, God. Like, I, I don't want to tell the truth that I broke it two months ago. I'm going to say <clears throat> that I broke it yesterday. That's what I'm going to do. Jesus is going to help me. Get all the angels and guides and Jesus, they all gonna help me. So I'm gonna be like, all right, Jesus, give me the right words. A little black lie does not hurt anybody, people. You got a whole war going on over in wherever. I just wanna tell a little black lie, little tiny, tiny brown lie. Little, like this little. It's, it's nothing in a magnitude of death and dying over in Palestine. Little, little, tiny lie. Little, black, little black lie. So I'm going to be like, hi. Hi. So. You know. The 
door fell off. Help me, help me, help me. The door fell off the hinges. And before I could, this is kind of true, it's not a lie. Before I could catch it, it slipped out my hands and slammed on the floor, which is true. That part is true. I'm just not going to tell him it happened four months ago. Was it four months ago? This is disgusting. This is very disgusting. So, I, I think it might be repairable. I think. You take it to a carpenter. And, but I don't even want the doors back on. I don't even want the doors back on. These doors have been hell for me. There's another one over here that always falls off its hinges. My landlord's constantly coming to visit that, uh, fix that one. This one that fell, my landlord's constantly coming to fix this one. I just want them off. Off. And if he lets me, I'll just put up a rod and some curtains if he lets me. I can't live this way. I'm mortified that I'm living this way. It's wealthy energy. Look at you. <laughs> Guided April goes, he won't be upset. You got this, Tracy. You got this. Okay, but I need Jesus to help me lie. Let me tell you something. You got a little black lie to tell. You call on Jesus. Yes. Because it's... Amen. Amen. Ashe. Jesus is fine. You're talking about a little lie. Yeah. Oh, no. No. I couldn't. It could be dangerous. Exaggeration. Let me see if I can find it too. Send W. I want to say happy birthday to you. Nunu? Nunu Sin W? Is that your name, Nunu? Let me know before I send it. Now close your eyes and make a wish. Yes! other name is Nunu, but it's dollar sign wealthy energy. But you're going to see Nunu on top. Happy birthday to you. All right, by the way, talking about paying bills, my Apple Pay basically threatened me. That's the way I see it. Apple Pay threatened me. And they were like, pay this amount. She definitely exposed. I was very upset with Apple Pay. Sent. Sent. I'll leave the, um... I'll leave it up for everyone. You're welcome. All right, let's get back to five things you need to know for October 31st. Israel, chilly weather. Everybody was complaining about the weather yesterday. CNN is just catching up with that. Y'all have already experienced the chilly weather. Strikes, border wall. Artificial intelligence. All right. Israel. Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu on Monday 
ruled out a pause in fighting in Gaza, saying, this is a time for war. He is a dick. You can cease fire, but you won't cease fire. Make it make sense, everyone. As y'all are having all this pity for Israel and with the media only showing um, Israel uh, children, never showing Palestinians, this jackass, Netanyahu, refuses to cease fire? Really? And Princess Love wants to blame Biden? Although, Biden, you got to stop giving them money. There's a way to cease fire, and this is this is a time for war. We're funding that war. We got enough poor people here. Like, come on. No, no, Biden. No, we're going to support this war in Israel that he could stop. Apparently, somebody's asking him to stop. And he's like, no, we must have war. Are you fucking crazy? Oh, my God. Y'all have to call out for Israel to stop this war. Y'all have to call it out. Everyone has to call it out. Israelis have to call it out. You know what? Uh Uh-uh. Nope. I need to see if he's going to get ousted because he's a dictator. He's a dictator, and we are funding a dictator. Hold on a second, guys. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, my God. I'm so sluggish today. if there's going to be a coup. Can you guys tell how much weight I lost? My biggest problem is my belly. But can you guys seriously tell that I lost a lot of weight? And I gained weight since coming back from vacation, but I gained it here, not all over. Can you guys tell? (laughs) Please? Can you tell me? Oh, good. You got it? I'm going to leave the wealthy energy up, though. Oh, Rhonda sent you something. Bree, it says Nunu at top. Yes. We are funding chaos. Exactly. (coughs) Be more. Is that Netanyahu? Overboard. Way overboard, Be more. This group is so crazy. Y'all crazy. love to hang out with you guys because y'all crazy is there going to be a coup is there going to be a coup are they going to oust his ass because what's happening right now i believe is in revelations i think what's happening right now is in revelation If Netanyahu doesn't (coughs) subdue his energy, (coughs) there's going to be airstrikes on Israel. And it won't be from Palestine. He 
he's going to hold his stance no matter what. The land of Israel is going to get plummeted. I'm so sorry, Israel. I think you all have to take a stand against Netanyahu to survive. Israelis have got to figure out that they need to take a stand in their own country. Or else there's devastation coming. And he's going to be really confused as to why either people are turning on him or why we and any other country is going to stop supporting him financially. There's a queen of pentacles here. There's money here. There's a cover up here. Families, it's up to the families in Israel to stop this. It's going to be up to you. It's going to be up to his own people to stop this. Seriously. Y'all acting like he's the beginning and the end. He's the alpha and from Omega. This is not your God. Karma. Karma. And the way I see it, what's Netanyahu sign? I think there has to be a new prime minister of Israel. And I think it's going to be a woman. I think it's going to be a woman. But the devastation that she's going to have to clean up is fucked up. <laughs> be more. You are not helping. You are not helping at all. Net Yahoo. Perfect. Scorpio. Mean ass Scorpio with a little Libra in him. An unhealthy Libra? Not good. He's born October 21st. Um, I think he's literally a Scorpio though. So the combination of the two signs, shadow, not good. I know you are, girl. So am I. subs. Biden wants a two-state solution. What does that mean, sweetie? Because I'm, I'm totally ignorant. He wants Palestine and Israel to get along. Is that what I'm hearing? Is that what I'm hearing? I hope that's what I'm hearing. <sighs> Guys, Israel has to fall. This is so crazy what I'm looking at. Israel has to fall, and so two-state Israel or two-state Palestine and Israel. I'm confused. Um, because ignorance. The man that's there's a man that's going to take him down. A man's going to do this. Um. And I believe this is an Arab nation that is going to participate in taking Netanyahu down. I think this is a mistake. I think ceasefire is mandated. I think getting along with the Palestinians, is Biden giving aid to the Palestinians now? Are you please tell me that that's true? 
Like, I need to know that the Palestinians are getting support now. Please tell me that that is true, everyone. Because the more that America supports Israel financially, the more America will fail. We are on the wrong side of history. Netanyahu is on the wrong side of history. America is on the wrong side of history. Keep it up. And it's not looking good. And all the countries, at least seven of them, that is quiet right now, is the same reason why the Germans took the Jews out. Because all the countries were quiet. History is literally repeating itself. All right, guys, we'll wait. Yeah, but Callie, let me tell you something. We should not be in the sea. We should not be. And they're coming. They're getting tired. They're coming. So if that means our military in the sea is going to get hit, then it's going to get hit. But they're coming for Israel. Period, point blank, and the story, they're coming for Israel. But if our military has to go down, Biden, don't have blood on your hands, Biden. Our American soldiers do not have to go down. This is not our fight. And you need to stop financially supporting a man that says, I don't want to cease fire. We're in a war. Like he wants to go down in history this way. He is, what do you call those people that, that do this? A dictator. He's a dictator. He's not for peace. I will lift up my eyes into the hills. The hills come in my help. My help coming from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not keep it. It's foot to be moved. He to keep it. Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. Who's keeping Israel now? That's Netanyahu's job, to keep peace, to keep order in Israel. That's his job. He's failing at his job, America. He could order, cease fire. He could. Fascist, yes. You're going down, Netanyahu. You're going down. And I feel like the people of is the people of Israel is gonna start to recognize that if they don't raise up the families in Israel, not the people, the families, that if they don't say something to their leader, Netanyahu, they already know that their families are gonna be compromised. It's a small piece of land, everyone. It's a small piece of land. This is terrible. But there's some secret talks. Y'all don't know. There's some secret talks. They're frozen right now, waiting to see, but they're thawing out. Their anger is making the... Uh, the non-action to thaw out. The cards look like this. You want war? That's what you want, Netanyahu? You're going to get it. You're going to get it. 
and at least seven nations are going to participate in this. Maybe not directly, but at least seven nations are going to participate in this. I hope you don't need oil from the Arab countries. This is going to be your karma for not ceasing fire. And I have to talk to the uh, uh, Israelis and the Jews. Like, y'all got to say something. I don't know what this fight is about, but y'all have to say something. This is with American monies. Without American monies, he don't have a fight on his hands. And I don't know if Biden can continue this. Supporting financially. It's not a good look, Biden. It's not a good look. Not a good look. All right. Good luck. Good luck. This is karma. This is karma. And this is years and years of Israeli government killing Palestinians. This is karma. And to not cease fire, I don't even want to know the rest. Oh my God. I think when all is said and done, my God, Israel is going to look a mess. It's going to look a mess, God. It's going to look a mess. It's terrible, terrible. Please cease fire. Please, Netanyahu. I pray to Almighty God, Allah, please cease. Same words you use will come back onto you. All right, guys, moving on. <laughs> right, Magic Mermaid. Say that, re uh, rewrite that, Rhonda rewrite that let me hear what you're saying grand rising i'm late was watching a replay oh no worries amen amen oh, shit. Whew. breathe everyone breathe breathe just breathe we got this we got this through prayer we got this but if netanyahu is not a praying man All right, moving on. Oof. Mm -hmm. oh. This man is going to be responsible for giving the order, one man, for giving the order for all the countries that's going to participate in this. Oh, my God, I can't take it. It could last for a very long time. Once again, listen to what I'm saying. Because of Netanyahu, Israelis may not have a land again. There's so many precious artifacts in history in Israel right now. You may not have a land again. Once again, Israelis are going to have to flee the country. Wow. Wow. That's some shit. Oh my God. Can you guys see what I'm saying? <laughs> what kind of parents are sending their kids out for trick or treating? Why are they not in school? 
Don't answer your doors until 4 o'clock. Your kids, when you know kids are home. All right. I need to... I need to woosa. Woosa. I gotta woosa my, my life now. Number three. General Motors and United Auto Workers Union have come to a tentative agreement. All right. Announced tent agreements with Ford and Stellaris last week. All right. Separately, Hollywood actors and major studios are making progress in talks and have signaled a possible deal on the horizon. Man, you people suck. Pay the goddamn actors. All right. So everybody's agreeing. Everybody's agreeing in the middle of a war. Good. Oh, Lord. Border war. Former President Donald Trump over the weekend falsely claimed that he had campaigned for presidency in 2016 on a promise that Mexico would pay for a piece of his border wall. Trump, who is now blah, 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 blah. The lie is the wall was paid for by Americans. The Trump administration directed more than $16 billion. federal money toward the project. And then he tweaked his comment when he said they will pay for it. Then he tweaked his comment and said they will reimburse the U.S. for the wall. $16 billion? $16 billion. Artificial intelligence. The White House rolled out a sweeping executive order on Monday that aims to monitor and regulate the risk of artificial intelligence while also harnessing its potential. Among several measures, the order will require developers of powerful AI systems to share the results of their safety tests with the federal government before they are released to the public. If an AI, AI model being developed poses national security, <laughs> economic, or health risk, the order will compel companies to notify the federal government for additional review. We have to move fast, really fast, ideally faster than the technology itself, White House Chief of Staff Jeff Zink said. And Biden is making AI a top priority. Remember when Signature failed? Remember when it was the whole banking industry failed? It failed on purpose. Because they wanted to snatch up the millions of dollars in AI technology companies. And they did. Many AI companies went belly up because AI can be become bigger than government. AI can become military. Let a man, man, a madman, get a hold of AI. I'm hungry. Oh, I didn't eat this morning. Did y'all see the video that was going around at a stadium where they had AI sitting amongst the people looking real as fuck? Did y'all see that? Oh, that's nice, Sylvester.
Has anybody seen Tiara looking way gorgeous pregnant? All right. Let me see if I can find it. Did y'all see it? I'm not gonna find it. Ugh. Oh, look at this Roundup Sweet Killer Detected in Fast Foods. I believe it's in Burger King because I cannot eat Burger King. Domino's, I can't eat Domino's. Dunkin' Donuts, oh, the sandwich, cake, cheese, breakfast, I can't eat that shit either. Popeyes, I cannot eat Popeyes. Dairy Queen, oh, the grill burger. I'm like, ice cream? Arby's, I can't eat Arby's. And Panera Bread, I can't eat Panera Bread. Little Caesars, I can't eat Little Caesars. I can't eat nothing here. Roundup Weed Killer detected in fast foods. Look at this, guys. Take it in. about this tomorrow because this is everything I cannot eat. I mean, seriously. I had to stop eating Panera Bread because there's some cross-contamination in Panera Bread. All right, I'm over this. Um, I really think that coming here, say, uh, coming... Not by water. I, I really believe coming to... America saved my life. Here it is. Here's the video. I hope you guys can see it. But I'm telling you right now, that mother that mother back there is not real. I'm telling you, I'm getting the off, and there's a reason why I'm getting the off again. But I am telling you right now, that mother that mother back there is not real. I'm telling you, I'm getting the off, and there's a reason why I'm getting the off again. AIC Philly, yep. They play, they fucking with your head right now. They're getting you all used to it. But watch I Robot with Will Smith, and y'all know how I feel about Will Smith. Everybody leave Will Smith alone. Um, I Robot's gonna come true. So, one last thing before we get off. Candy birds. I really want to do a, a reading on candy birds. Because I don't believe in candy birds. I don't believe she's having emotional issues with her husband. I think she knows that she's failing, especially when she went after Drew. I don't think nobody liked her going after Drew the way she went after Drew this last season. I don't believe that they're having marriage issues. Let me do this last thing for, uh, oh, I'm hot now. Oh, oh my God. Let me do this last thing for um, Netanyahu. What's the final outcome for Netanyahu? Upside down gossip. Upside down gossip. 
thrive on a power of passing on private or secret information. my neighbor this time for the soup. <laughs> Most times I don't hear him. He's like, I knocked on your door. I'm like, yeah, I'm in the back working. Um, I don't know if I believe it, Be More. I think this is all father for getting um, her new show, getting people to watch her new show. So, one, let me just do gossip upside down for Netanyahu. Shadow gossip manifests as passing along misleading information and creating damaging rumors. This is associated with rumor spreading, backbiting, passing along information that's exaggerated, harmful, and intended to disempower. Thrives on a power generated by passing on secret or private news. Lack of integrity. Also, participating in go gossip that has harmed others. This is Netanyahu, true and true. At first, I thought this was um, the other country, but this is Netanyahu making us believe that he's in danger when he is dangerous. Oh, okay, I'm officially hungry. I don't want to eat my soup right now, but I'm officially hungry. Um, this is Candy Burris. A very famous food guy came to her restaurant, and this is Candy explaining what happened. Wait. No, I'm joking. I'm not about to speak on it. I really just wanted to say I do appreciate you, Lee, for stopping by our restaurant and trying to show us love. It is very unfortunate that we couldn't serve him and his family. We have, we would have loved to, okay? But he's right. We don't take to-go orders on the weekends. And the simple reason is because we do love and appreciate the people who come and support our restaurant. On the weekends, we get a lot of community support, people in our city that show up for us, as well as a lot of people from out of town. So with that being said, we don't want to overwhelm our kitchen by having to, you know, have such long times for the people who are actually at the restaurant, plus having to do to-go orders, because obviously that would make the long, the wait times even longer. So that's the reason for that. Um, for those of you, I saw a couple of people was like, well, I would not need to take to-go. Hey, guys. What's up? It's your girl, Candy. And I'm... We're at the Blood Music Festival. Somebody who works with Candy Birds walked into us and said they've been trying to reach us since we got to Atlanta. He said he'd been constantly emailing me and constantly DMing me for me to come to Old Lady Gang. I got it. Let's try it and rate it once to 10. As you can see, I don't have any bags in my hands. Me and my family showed up and we attempted to order before we got here. We called the number they had connected on Yelp three times. No answer. 
We tried to order through DoorDash, and they said it was temporarily closed. So when we pulled up, I sent my family in to order for us. They which is completely understandable. So what we decided to do is my family's gonna go eat. They're just gonna come bring the food out while I'm sitting in the car. So they have no idea I'm here. My family asked how long the wait was to be seated. They said an hour to an hour and a half. Yes, okay. She also said they didn't have any reservations in it. So they didn't take down any number, any contact information, nothing. My family then came and relayed that message to me and I decided to go in myself. We walked in and we were greeted by a nice young lady. And then I met some amazing people who were eating there. Yesterday, me and my family were at the one music festival. Somebody who works with Candy Birds walked into a restaurants. They don't like to make money. I feel like they don't like people. They don't like the customers. They just don't fucking like it. First thing first, right? You could barely order in Atlanta restaurants. Like you go like, hey, I would like to make order. Oh yeah, we don't make, we don't we don't take orders. We don't take orders. It gets to the point that I literally have to name, like, I have to tell, like, people that order food for me, like, can you just name drop my name? Because first and first, they just don't, they don't do no pickup orders, they don't do deliveries, they just don't do shit. Second, Atlanta restaurants, right, they be closed on the most random shits. Like, it's like, you look at a restaurant, you go looking for a restaurant on Google, and it's like, oh, this shit look good. Oh, they closed what is that? What do you mean? Y'all niggas is closed Monday through Wednesday. Or they'll just have the most random days closed. Like, oh, they close on Tuesday. Or, like, it's just the most random shit. Like, it's like, y'all motherfuckers don't like making bread. Like, I don't... F I feel like Atlanta restaurants, they don't like to make... And then this says, restaurant owners training their staff to recognize four generations of Keith Lee's family. <laughs> Because he sent his family in. And the, the Cardi B part was just somebody adding to it that Cardi B was complaining about Atlanta restaurants. I don't know what that's about. I know New York is not happening. All right. I gotta go. I love you guys. I'm officially hungry. I'm down. I'm not gonna pretend like I get very unhappy when I'm hungry. People die when I'm hungry. I gotta go. I love you. Call me for your own personal reading. I'm home all day. I got openings. Call me. Kill the music! Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live.